Hello everyone, Charon is back with another blind let's play. And today we're gonna start The Council. Um, I don't really know much about this game. I saw it on Steam and uh, looked up looked up at the description. It's kind of like a detective mystery thriller in the 18th century or something. Uh, but I don't know if it's really... Uh, that kind of uh, mystery or not, so we will find out. We're gonna start. We go to the manor. Okay, that's uh, quite a big font there. Um, this save slot is empty. You can begin. You can, okay, let's see if you can one. Uh, I have been on this screen before. Uh, I'll just set up everything that I needed for uh, controls, video and stuff, and we'll see if the controls work out the way I put them in. But uh, yeah, uh, everything should be set up so we can go and start a new game. France. Paris. December 10th, uh, 1792. Okay. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. <laughs> Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Okay, so we are at the first decision, it seems. Uh, well, uh, she kind of looks a little bit like a vulture. <laughs> I mean, the faces are pretty distinct, I would say. Um, and there's action right away, so uh, I'm intrigued by this. I'm inclined to trust her. Because she said we should trust her, so uh, we're gonna trust her. Please. 
Be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. I will bring a knife to gunfight. That's an interesting start. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island, off the coast of England. So, yeah, I would say that's fictional. <laughs> Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Oh. Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The Council. Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Uh... She looks kind of hot. Uh, so he's a priest and she's a duchess. Uh, I guess we can say we meet him because they already also said that they meet him. So Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. <laughs> anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Uh, absolutely. Turn the question back to... Oh, let's turn the question back to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off. Or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. 
I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? Cardinal. Out of all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. <sighs> oh, okay. <clears throat> are you all right? Nothing's happening. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! Oh. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, no, no! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can oh. run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. <sighs> you. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. Huh. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. Oh, so much information pouring in from left and right. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, we can. Yeah, camera. Okay. Uh, right. Go up to the manor. Okay. Uh, so we. The movement is rather slow. Duchess is still here, and there is something else over there. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, choose your class. Diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. He avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he's talking, uh, talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Cultist. The cult is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as people he questions. A hands on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. So that's more like a Sherlock Holmes style. That's like, I don't know, hidden or whatever, and that's like a speaker. Choose a class choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will be still be available but unlocking them will be more expensive okay um i tend to oh, let's see the skills 
Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, diversion. Manipulation, occultism, erudition, sciences, and subterfuges. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. Hmm. Are there more than three? No. Uh, every detail and surrounding sounds good. Investigation. Yeah, we're going. Uh, we're gonna try uh, detective. Oh, your skills. Oh, the fonts are really big. Three available points. Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one skill point in manipulation. Your past granted you one skill point in psychology. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, that, those are the. Uh, okay, we are the yellow one. But we can still put in points there. Okay, let's check what those are. Etiquette. Adopt uh, appropriate behavior for every social situation. Also used to formulate flattery or wield insults. Conviction. Convince people with the sheer force of your will and your attitude. Politics. Express your grasp of the. Geopolitical situation, nations, interests, and diplomatic relations. Diversion. Divert people's attention, change a subject, or avoid questions. Oh, those are all level zero. Skill not acquired. Okay. Linguistics. Translate all kind of documents and conversations in foreign languages. Occultism. Occultism. Rely on your knowledge of myth, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Manipulation. Get people to act in your own interest. So we got one point here, somehow. That's already been said. Erudition. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history. Science. Be up to date with scientific knowledge and medical techniques. Subterfuges. Discreetly steal items. Pick locks. Notice falsification. Huh. And that's... So those are all level zero. And... Oh, they are all level one. Okay. Because we are detective, we, all of them are activated. Vigilance. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Does the same? Oh, it doesn't show if it does. Well, all of them do, so I'm pretty sure they will do too, I guess. Uh, four points left before level two, and that says three points left. I thought they cost more. Questioning. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance? Physiology. Read people's behavior like an open book. Logic. Use a logical mind and oratorical talents. Agility. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Huh. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little break here and think about what I will take because there's a lot of things here to consider. And I'll be And I'm back. Okay, so I've looked over that and I think I'll go with uh, subterfuges. Uh, it fits my playstyle and I think it also fits being detective with uh, uh, picking locks and uh, stealing items and stuff like that. Um, but I was also thinking about etiquette, because we are, it seems, in company of uh, higher-ups, so to speak. And, uh, yeah. When when you are level 1, maybe then it changes with the, the skill points, because it's 3 points also for level 0. So, yeah. But anyway, I will go with subterfuge, that should give us level 1, okay. Ah, okay, now I see it. You get five points, and here it's four points, so it's one point more. 
I guess when you're getting to level 2 or level 3, it costs even more. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep it that way for the moment. Be a little sneaky. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh... Not at all so light her. Uh... Well, if he thinks he hasn't met her, then... Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I hmm. imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Oh, yes, flirting. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation or to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's not it. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and have you and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Still, I think I have to figure out what effort points are. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Push the enter button to access your menu pages. Validate the whole. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Okay. Interesting. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated map in the menu. Okay, we can move now. So, okay. Inventory. It's pretty bright, but okay. Emily's handkerchief, a handkerchief given to you by Lady Hillsborough. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials EH. Mortimer's invitation. Dear Monsieur de Richer, I am writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. Uh, as you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Richer, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to over worry you, but would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of 
Westfordshire. Okay. Hmm. Journal. Ah, okay, so we get a little overview of the characters, it seems. Uh, Sarah Faustine de Richer is a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society. Politics, trade transactions, secrets of state, or paranormal spheres, the order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Ah, oh, maybe I should have taken occult as my profession. Uh, since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son Louis to become the new face of the Golden Order. Okay. Emily Hillsborough. Bam, she's beautiful. Immunity logic to be discovered. So, okay. To be discovered means we still have to find out her vulnerability and uh, immunity and stuff. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess, close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came into the political scene after her wedding. So she's married. That some qualified as a marriage of interest. Oh, okay. So, a lot of love. Uh, to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Oh, okay. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister, William Pitt, oh, that the one she was talking about to us, to take her as private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. Private secretary, huh? As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory's Holmes, Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island, because for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed receptions. So before we go over your, our uh, ourselves, let's check out Giuseppe Piacci. His Eminence, the Cardinal Giuseppe Piacci, is a legate of Pope Pius VI. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope, who discreetly named him Cardinal in Pectore. He was thus able to use his, this relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory Holm, Piaggi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. Okay. So those two were invited by Holm and I was invited by Mortimer himself. The only son of Sarah, Louis Morat de Richer, is a young Parisian uh, aristocrat. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in his mother's circles. And so it was natural that on his 14th birthday he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. Precocious Louis progressed quickly at her side, despite the daily treatment his mother prescribed for his chronic migraines. Okay, so that's a common thing then. Okay. He climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in occult cases, for which he was particularly talented. Uh, further. Maybe I should have taken a cult. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to one day young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. And I have cat hair, cat hair in my face. Uh, Golden Order. Yeah, so the, I guess all those dots mean that we still meet other people. We also got a map here. The only way out. Okay. Alright, that's our skill level. 
So we got this and this because we had that at the start. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, then. let's start there. Charismatic presence, you gain one skill point in manipulation. You have always been charismatic. <laughs> okay. Trusting, you gain one skill point in psychology. You trusted your mother. Okay. Detective, detective class skill cost less. Okay, yeah. Because we have we have that class. Okay, what's that? Diplomatic mastery. Reach level 3 in diversion and level 2 in... Oh, okay, so that are basically goals when you reach a certain level. So I'm not really going over it because we still need some time to do that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your effort points pool increases by 1. Reach level 5. Uh, present level 1, okay. This one level 10. So we know that we are at least able to get to level 10, I guess. Tactless. Using manipulation costs you one extra effort point, but you gain one skill point in linguistics. Fail two confrontations. Fail five confrontations. Fail ten confrontations. So something costs you more, but you get a skill point in another. Subtle. You gain two skill points in psychology. Succeed two conf confrontations. So uh, succeeding is better, I would say, because you're getting two skill points and no negatives. Succeed five confrontations in questioning. In etiquette. Okay. Confrontation succeeded. Okay. Check of all trades. You gain 10% more experience at the end of the quest. Obtain all level 1 skills. So, that's good to know. So, the game encourages you to go into all of that. Okay. 10%. Apprentice, your experience increases by 5%. Read 5 manuscripts. Bookworm, you can equip 1 extra manuscript. Collect 10 manuscripts. Current collection 1. Oh, is that... That is a manuscript? I guess because it's the only one that I have. And it says 1 out of 10. Okay. Prince of Amber. Increases your effort points by 1. Find 12 fragments of Amber. Seductive. You gain 1 point in manipulation. Use the manipulation skill 10 times. Okay, so if you if you do ten, okay, swift, you can run vigilance. Make a dialogue choice twenty times before the end of the dialogue timer. I didn't even see there was a dialogue timer yet, but maybe I've missed it because it says one out of twenty. Out of breath, you gain one skill point in agility. Decrease your effort points to zero during a quest. Still have to find out is. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get to that. Use exactly one consumable of each type during a quest. You gain one skill point inadequate. Use no consumable during a quest. Uncover all of Johann von Wollner's immunities and vulnerabilities. So I guess that's someone that we still have to meet. Elizabeth Adams immunities and vulnerabilities. Okay, we also don't know that one. Shuck Peru. Okay, we don't know that either. Emily Hillsborough. Okay, so we get one skill point in diversion if we find out all of her immunities and vulnerabilities. Okay. Uncover all of Lord Mortimer's immunities. Manuel Godoy. Giuseppe Piacci, so that's the, the uh, cardinal. Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, now that let's get interesting now. Uh, so we are 1793. That. If, it, if that game is historically accurate and not completely fiction, that would mean that uh, 
the Napoleon Wars haven't started yet and I don't think he's even general yet at that time. Gregory Holmes immunities. Okay, that's the one that invited uh, Emily and Piaggi. Yeah. George Washington. Okay, President of America. Ah. Huh. Okay. So, um, those are the effort points. Allow you to use your skills. Amber fragments. When you collect four amber fragments, you gain one effort point. Royal Jelly. Restore two effort points. Okay. Golden Elixir. Cures negative alterations. Okay, I don't know what that is, but we'll probably find out. Devil's Thorn. Temporarily reveals the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. Huh. Camelid Water. Next skill use is free. Press 4 to use it. Okay, I think that's the difference. This one is restore and this one is gain. So I guess when you use that one, something fills up here. And if you use that, then you get it extra. Huh, I mean, we'll find out. Collector coins. Lost coins in Lord Mortimer's manor. Huh, okay. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's that thing we just looked at. Royal Jelly resource two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. Great, honey. Oh, Royal Jelly, honey. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, uh, the question is, oh. <coughs> Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from three hundred meters away. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we have to go up to the manor and I guess uh, that one is the um, usable ones, the consumables. So if we do, if we take none of these, we'll get the free point, right? I still don't know what a quest is, so <coughs> I guess we'll find out. So something old jelly okay so there's a way over there oh good evening now sir may i ask your name please louis moras de richet monsieur de richet delighted to welcome you among us sir you must be sarah de richet's son I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Uh, what do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Oh, now I see a timer. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Browser skills by using the character tab in the menu. Ability to hold. So now there's a timer and it costs nothing, I guess. You Have you found anything here? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of oh. damage, sir. 
on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Uh, okay, we don't have a timer now, it seems, so... Let me have the handkerchief. I will take care of it. Okay. Oh, because the skill... I don't have the skill. Okay, so that's a skill that costs nothing. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, <laughs> sir. Here you are. I must return now. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. Huh. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? So I guess we're not going up there. And we found something out, it seems. So we found... We got an item, right? Mother's handkerchief. My mother's handkerchief that was given to me by the servant on the pier. It carries initials SDR. Okay, nothing else. Oh, we can move faster. Yes. Cool. Oh, and some things open up, it seems. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Huh. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, what's that? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Uh. This might just come in handy. Why not just grab a steel bar? A sack of seeds. It's an open iron bar. No one seems to have used any. So I don't know if that, if those things are, are visible now because of my class, because it, it said in detective that I see things around. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. But we'll see. Okay, so that's fast running. Yeah, okay. that's that's really helpful. See what's hidden inside. Oh, find a clue. Difficulty level three. Logic level one. So that costs us three of those points. I guess. Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. One of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order, and I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dochois? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. 
I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Because it's always in the menu, no. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, we would need politics to know it. Okay. So I guess we don't remember. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Manuel. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Look for clues on your mother. Look for more clues. Okay. Yeah, we'll look for more clues. Letter from Sarah de Richer. Oh, the iron bar. Yeah. Okay, so we can't. Yeah, we can't read it again. Okay. So there were more letters there. Can we check them out? Let's see what's hidden inside. Examine the letters. Let's look. Oh, there are a lot of letters there. To Mr. Carl Corey. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The envelope has ideograms on it. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Okay, I would need linguistics for that. I have the slightest idea what it says. Hmm. To Mr. Joaquina da Silva Xavier. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. To Mr. R. Galebreath. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay, let's check out the others. To Mr. P.V. Heaven. Probably a Dutchman. Okay then. Uh, to his eminence, Giovanni Angelico Brasci. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. I would need occultism to do that. Okay. I, I think I really need to go on level one, at least on one of those things. This name sounds familiar. Brasci. No. I can't seem to place it. Hmm. To Mr. H. B. de la Bath. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Uh, okay, so I guess we can stand back because we already read the other ones. Oh! What's that? Collector coins. Oh, those are the coins from... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that one was hidden. Damn. Really have to look very careful here. Oh, wait. A lantern. Nothing special. Okay. Okay. I think we've been through here. We also checked around here, I think. Yeah. Let's check out this thing. Oh. What's that? Ooh, Royal Jelly. Already got three of those. Got something here, we got something there. A wooden floorboard. Oh, difficultly zero. Question where it came from. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. 
it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Uh, okay, we can exit. Probably it, comes guess. from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Oh, okay. So there was another one. Oh, down. Yeah. Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Oh, he used the rusty iron pot. Yeah, sure. Huh. That's cool. So you could either oh, use a skill or that uh, items that Let's you see find. What's hidden to inside? Cool. There's that, a book nice. and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts. Manus oh, okay. Now we know that they are definitely manuscripts. Okay. Allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. So we already Let's know the bag. That. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Okay, let's check the food. Fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Uh, personal belongings? Shit! Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? Well, to be correct, I think he, he should say Merde. And not shit, but because he's French, but it's okay. Rusty key. An iron key completely rusted. Uh, okay. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. <laughs> well, uh, what's the powder? bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Uh, I think we're gonna leave the bag. There must be a reason why it's here and hidden. So I don't think we need hairpins and stuff because we can't take it. The, the key was the only one that we could really take except for the whole bag. So why take the bag if you just can take out one item, so yeah. Right, that's enough. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. Mm. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Handed. Oh, I find that really cool that you can, that you if you are exploring, you can find stuff that you can use later. I mean, we could also be able to pick the lock with our skill, I guess. But, I mean, if I can do it for free. Yeah, okay. There we are. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's something over there. Uh, Royal Jelly. Okay, we got four of them already. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. 
just like in my vision. Ooh. And none of it's telling me anything useful. She had a pistol in, in the vision, yeah. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Okay, let's check out the barrel. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm. Oh, we, we need science for that. Okay. Cannon powder. I mean, she had cannon powder in that uh, box, right? Or in her purse or whatever. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. Oh, we got it done. Okay, cool. Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase a max. Oh, that's the, that one. Okay. A fragment of amber. That was also pretty much in there. So I think we've... Well, we found a lot, but... Okay, that's the board where she had her items. Okay. Maybe we could maybe check for the powder if it's the same, but he he, he already said that it's just the powder. Uh, okay, I think we can go up here. Yeah. Nothing left there. Oh, sorry. Latin inscription. Ernesis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Okay, we neither have linguistics or occultism. I mean, my Latin is pretty rusty. Uh, Mi fili could be my son. Or... My brothers? Or... My sons. It could also be my sons. Quantilla Prudentia Mundus. Mundus is like world or all or something. But yeah. Way too long. And I don't have the skill in game either, so. Uh, okay, I guess we have to click that. Go up to the meadow. Okay. Pretty substantial. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Quite an impressive door there. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. Ah, the what can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? De Riche. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontations. During confrontation, you have to go through several steps. 
while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Okay. I like the Italian accent of that on on that character. It's really really nice. Uh, nice touch there. Well, thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you Step happen one. to know if your mother has arrived yet? Uh, yes, she's been here for several weeks now. I mean, it doesn't really... Never mind. No, okay, yeah, yeah. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. You succeed. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, oh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, I don't think I should tell him that I'm on the Golden Order, right? Art collector, business of confidential. So we don't have a timer, it seems here, so... Professional secret. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy ah. are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. Oh, Worthy he knows. So this All was a same, test. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh, <laughs> I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Step three. Do you think I should give it to you? You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. Yeah, sure, that. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean uh -oh. Sarah has gone missing? Uh oh. Shit. I shouldn't have said that. Uh oh. Let's not exaggerate, Your Eminence. Uh, I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Confrontation, last step. For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Oh, so I used one blunder because I failed that test. Okay. The last step of a conversation will repeat itself if you fail. Okay, so we have two wrong answers, I guess. Oh, and we got a timer. Promise, I don't believe in God. No, thank you. No. Okay, no worries. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, oh, we got let's it. stop there. Reliable. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Lynche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. 
Here. Oh, there we go. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. So we got an item. We got more items. Mysterium cosmetic. That's the one we found on the on the wharf. Scientific essay from Johannes Kepler. Scientific essay combining the most precise astronomic observations with advanced mathematical notions. And the art of knowing people by physiognomy is psychology one. Johann Caspar Lavater. A method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical disappear uh, <laughs> physical appearance. Notably the facial characteristics. So I, I can't do anything with it with all those items, so we will see. And we also got something reliable. You gain one skill by manipulation, you obtain Piaget's letter. Okay. So there are more options to get some skills, I guess. Go back to the group near the chimney. Well, we will do that, but first we of course we'll check out the area, right? Let's check the area. Oh. Maybe oh. I should introduce myself to the other guests first. Uh, okay, we can't go in there. What's that? Oh, wait. What's that? Collector coin. Okay. What's that? Devil Thorn. Devil Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. So that's our second that we found. Second uh, usable item. Oh, Followed the damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. And I mean, look at that statue, like when you're coming in, that statue like throws a spear at you. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Quite a lot of pictures here. I mean, that door is also enormous. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. That's for sure. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste okay. for staging rooms. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Uh, yeah. It's also a nice thing to have in your enter hall. Or welcoming hall. Map of Europe and Asia, it seems. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, we can't go there either. And we probably can't go up. Yeah, okay. So let's see what they have to say, I guess. Oh, there's another one. Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans. By Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Uh, sure. We'll just taking everything. Oh, that's Parallel Life by Plutarch, a series of biographies of illustrious men, providing much information on their lives and the origin of their greatness. Plus one skill point in conviction. Oh, there's a chessboard there. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. 
Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President oh, okay, of yeah. the United States of America. Definitely. Okay. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Oh, we got a timer, huh? Uh, let's not talk about the letter. About the surprising main door. Let's avoid the subject. Uh, I'm at the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, <laughs> unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh... Okay. Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay. Uh... Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. Oh, he must okay. really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. I thought it would Good be a Freemason icon. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case oh, yeah. has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Uh, well, that Do you fast. know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English oh, aristocrat. That's all. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, hmm. we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Uh, at least we don't have a timer. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay because he was the first one to talk to me. 
and yeah can we activate the no we cannot okay i thought i could maybe go into the inventory and check out some information but yeah let's stay and listen to washington let's see what washington has to say sir if you don't mind i shall stay here do exactly as you please young man louis thank you for staying just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I oh, he knows. Her well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. Ah. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United okay, States. Okay, we got that one. I, I didn't know. I did. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Yeah, we don't have a timer, so... Okay, I can go into that menu. Cool. So... We should have more information, right? Holm. Okay. Sir Gregory Holm. Sir Gregory Holm. Baron of Nottingham is a very influential British aristocrat, okay? Confirmed royalist, Sir Gregory Holm spent his career extending the influence of the United Kingdom throughout the world. From the flourishing East India Company to the Spanish trading post in America, he stamped his hallmark on key decisions made by the world's preeminent economic power. In England, he contributed to the reduction of the natural debt, and being very attached to family values, he invested time in the working class, creating charity schools in order to offer decent education to the future links in the next industrial revolution. A network builder, Holm always finds pleasure in attending the social gatherings of his old friend, Lord Mortimer. So, uh, I thought him to be French. I mean... Uh, not because of his accent, because that was definitely British, but, um, you know, in those times, uh, I mean, probably the, the English ones did that too, uh, they had like those um, um, wigs and also face makeup and, and lipstick kind of, uh, but I already remember it from the French, but I guess it was also in the, in the British uh, high society. So we know Emily... There's nothing more about Piachi. Yeah, we, we we found something up about the servants that they are vulnerable to logic and questioning. All Mortimer servants wear a mask. It is a recurring subject of conversation among the guests. No one knows the true reason. George Washington. George Washington is the founding father and first president of the United States of America. Washington shared his life between military and political success. Very early on, he was introduced by Sarah de Richet into the upper circles of an influential secret society from France, the Golden Order. Uh, he later took the helm of the American branch. Uh, tired of politics, he wanted to retire to his property in Virginia, but that was without taking into account Lord Mortimer, who encouraged him to come out of retirement. On the advice of his friend, he ran for a second term and was successful. Okay. Invited by Mortimer to his island, Washington likes to attend such social gatherings incognito. Oh, so the other ones don't know that he's George Washington, really? Or he's coming there without guards or whatever, or bodyguards. Or maybe that. So we got also reliable when we're talking... Yeah, I already checked that one. Uh, yeah, we had her in the vision. I want to know how that worked out. Or should we talk about Mortimer? Well, let's get more information about Mortimer. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for 
example. But mm. I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Hmm. Yeah, how did you... I mean, he told... Or it, it was maybe in the information that it was said that they met, but let's ask him. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. <laughs> May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Oh, right about all the mysteries that surround us, or the court or uh, mysteries. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without <laughs> heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. Yeah, at that least one, now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. I mean, I don't know if it's a, a glitch or a bug or whatever, but it seems like uh, something is dripping out of his mouth. Uh, Washington, like on, on this side here. Uh, and what if Masa has left... The, I don't think she has left the island, from what we have seen. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Uh, I mean, they are all from the Order, so... But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Oh, they're back. Careful, they're coming back. Oh. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Well. Sir Holm, who was that young lady? Oh, you? I missed something. Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Uh. Okay, I just got mentioning the right one, I think. Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. 
Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Uh... Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Oh, I got a new real character. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? End of the corridor. I mean, we will, of course, check out everything before. Do you have anything else? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Yeah. Yeah, can't go in. I mean, I had to try, right? I think we we got a new person. Adams. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Adams is the daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States. Okay. That's why he was so, so surprised, I think. Oh, and she has a scar there. Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. Okay. Brought up in isolation, she grew into a frail young woman with bipolar disorder. Okay. Devoured by her terrible fits of anxiety. Her deepest secrets were slowly gnawing away at her from inside. Despite numerous treatment, nothing could cure her. The young woman continued to descend into folly. As a friend of Sir Gregory Holm and of Lord Mortimer, John Adams decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer's manor in the hope that he could help her. With little hope, Elizabeth has now been at the manor for a short while. Okay. We already got him. Yeah, so that was the only one. Duke Manuel Godoy. Ah, that's the one we read in the letter from his mother. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Maybe we can sometime enter the rooms because they are clearly marked here. I don't really want to run because it could be that there is something on the tables. Huh, that's me. Oh, okay, we're not going in there. Not yet, at least. We can't go up there, it seems okay. Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Son Eminence Le Cardinal Piaggi. Oh, I saw something. An old Sisterse from Roman Gaul. But they are really everywhere and so hidden. What's that? Royal Jelly, okay, we are filled up on that one. Okay, we can't head to there. You will really miss those coins and stuff if you if you run through that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um 
so far so good. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, I thought I saw them. President George Washington. Neither. Wow, that's quite a way. I think we have to go like here. I think that's where we started. So we are only half through. Damn, that's big. That's quite a big manor there. On top of the of the hill. Got already four of those. Still don't know yet what they are used for. But... Door. Can't enter here. Let's see if we can go down there. No, nope. cannot. Oh, I see something blinking there. Not a coin. Monsieur Johann van Wunder. Johann von Wöllner. So sounds very German. Johann von Wöllner. The ambient sounds are also pretty nice. If you are going on, on wood, you hear like the wood creaking, and if you're going here, you hear like the the tap tap of the of the marmor. Devil's thorn. To oh, be used okay. to uncover the best disguised traits. Yes, we know that one. So we should be yeah, okay, we're getting close to the start again. Damn, that's big oh the quorum guide. Oh, yeah. Leonard Perrin, a treatise on good manners intended for the Jesuit College at La Flanche. Okay. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Golden elixir. Golden elixir cures all your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than. Okay, I don't know what the negative alterations are, but we'll probably find out sooner or later. So. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. The encyclopedia. Uh, One hundred and fifty academics and scholars contributed to the production of this first synthesis of human knowledge. Oh. 
Okay, if you if you find those two missing pages, you get three skill points in, instead of just one from those. Okay. I still don't know how to activate those, but we will hopefully find out. In the near future. So Jacques Peru. Jacques Peru, so another French guy. He's a Monsieur, so he's, he doesn't have a title. Suitcases, oh. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon, okay. So this is, I think, where we came. Oh. A drachma. Drachma. Uh, where we came up from, I would say. And we can't go, yeah, can't go down here. So that should be Emily's room, right? Yeah, yeah just Emily, Emily Hillsborough. Okay, so let's uh, jog to our room, which should be at the end here. I mean, it's not really at the end of the corridor, depending how you see it, but okay. Hours. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I wanted to end that episode. Right. Here, so what shall I do with this letter? It might huh. be about my mother's disappearance. Hmm. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Uh, unseal the letter. Uh, leave the letter closed. Open the letter without breaking the seal. Ah. Ah. Without breaking the seal is pretty much the best option there it costs three though but okay so it really is a list of french countrymen piaggi wasn't lying wow nice room. that was it mortimer Aww. sure doesn't do things halfway that was it okay uh it still says sealed, so I guess that worked. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, what's that? Carmelite water. Carmelite water gives you the focus state. Your next skill use will cost no effort. You cannot carry more than five. So that should be the last one. Yeah, okay. We got all types now. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Uh, yeah, it's a little different, but also looking gruesome. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Huh. So he's an art collector or a thief? <laughs> I mean, it looks like that thing opens, right? Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, is that that uh, amber thing, right? Amber crystals. Oh, we got a talent. Ah, decrease your effort points to zero during a quest okay ah huh, cool still looks like there is a, a hidden door somewhere okay doesn't seem to be something maybe it's nothing okay what's that inferno by dante abandon hope all ye who enter here 
Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very <laughs> jolly. What's that? Aw, damn. I don't have any points. I guess I can do it later. Stop. Oh, okay. We can't enter here, interestingly. So maybe there is a hidden room there. But it could also be Piachi's, right? But I think that one belongs to Piachi. So maybe there is a hidden room there. Huh. But why why put a balcony there in that case? Here was that. Camelot water. Oh, we got f we are full. Uh, good to know though. That we can grab another one here. So that's all our room, I think. This should be another one. Oh, a Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Not to enter here. Oh, there's another. A one. ruble. Right. So, uh, let's go... Oh, what's that? Interesting. So you get a little few... But I don't think there's anything happening. Just other viewing points, I think. Yeah. I mean, it changes a little bit, but... I'm not sure, maybe it triggers something, but... Let's see. So far, it's just other viewing points. Okay, I think we had that one before. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back into our room. And I wanted to oh, end the episode, but still, again, not happening. Oh, okay. That's the end. Okay, good. <laughs> Episode 1. Off the coast of England. Success. I went up to the manor. I pieced together my mother's movements when on the docks. I convinced Piaggi to trust me with his letter. I met Mr. Washington. I remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington. I found a strange book in the quay. on the quay. I asked questions about my mother. Okay, so I failed nothing. That's good, I guess. Alternate path. I could have joined so home in the small saloon. Yeah, and then I would have probably the same changed with uh, Washington, I guess. I could have made an unexpected encounter. Probably because I would have been in that other room. And I think that's it. So we will end the first episode of the council here. It's also the end of this episode here that's pretty nice i maybe do it that way i maybe do uh every time such a thing is over the episode will be over i think that's nice it's like a roughly one and a half hours so far um that's pretty okay i would say i'm gonna keep it in mind to not go over two hours maybe but so far it's okay for for episode time and we will end this one here, like I said, and I hope you join me for the next one. So um, put in a comment, put on a like on the video if you do. And I hope to see you again in the next one where we continue this. It's really, really interesting so far. I hope it stays that way. Till then, have fun and bye bye.